Show me Friar basketball. You know, it's been a remarkable run for the Friars over the last five years, of course, making the NCAA tournament. John Rook, Joe Hassett, we're glad to have been a small part of it, you know, calling the games on local radio. But during this run of success, I mean, you know, you got to get to, when you get to March, you got to finally win a game. And they finally did that against Southern Cal. Remember a couple of years ago, Chris Dunn was on the team, Ben Bentel was on that team. They beat USC to win the first NCAA tournament game in 19 years. And of course, the play was remarkable because it, turned out to be something completely different what was originally planned, right? Exactly. Uh, Kyron Conway was supposed to take the ball out of bounds and pass it in, but he's left-handed, and he told Coach Cooley, he says, I think Drew Edwards would be better to pay, make that pass in, and they did a back screen, and you get um, Rodney Bullock wide open for a layup. That right. was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you couldn't believe that happened. But, you know, we were talking about all the great individual players that we've had at Providence under the radar. Well, one guy was above the radar all the time. That was Chris Dunn. Ended up being the third pick in the draft, obviously, but he was terrific in that NCAA tournament. But to win that first game, Friars have been there a number of times, but to do it with what they had, I mean, Ben Bentel had a terrific game in that game. And, but Dunn was one of those guys, John, that every team that scouted the Friars always worried about what he was going to do on defense, you know, because he disrupted everybody's yeah. offense. You could guard two or three guys at the same time. So you always play, you had your game plan worrying about where Chris Dunn was on defense. Right. He rose in the NCAA tournament, well, at the end of the year, toward the Big East tournament on the offensive end where he became tough to guard. How about a kid that flashed as quickly as any and then got out of here as quickly as any in Ben Bentel? When he first came here, his skills were raw, didn't know whether or not he would develop into anything, and then his sophomore year, boy, did he fly off the charts. He did. I mean, good point there, John. I mean, he had, he had 42 points in the game, shooting three-pointers. I mean, he went from nobody to a guy that you really had to worry about shooting the ball. I mean, he, and he rebounded the ball very well, and he had to play center. The Friars always were undersized, it seemed to. Yeah, but when they had DeRocious in the, uh, inside there to transfer a seven-foot kid, you know, they had some size uh, in the Big East tournament. But, you know, normally in that NCAA tournament, they didn't have a lot of size, but they were able to win games. And I'll never forget the call at the Big East tournament when the Friars were playing against Villanova in the semifinals, and Ben oh, yeah. got whistled <laughs> for the foul against Ryan Archie Diacono. It's a call to this day still hasn't made contact on. And every time you see, who's your buddy, Brian O'Connell? I'm not going to bring it up. I mean, we're not at a game. I'm not going to talk about <laughs> officials.